When you're leading, when you're getting getting things done, yeah, you take incoming fire. That's just the nature of it. We just uh, tell people to go check out the scoreboard from last Tuesday night. Uh, that's Florida Governor Ron DeSantis responding to former President Trump's recent attacks just a few hours before Trump's expected 2024 announcement. Live pictures, the ballroom at Mar-a-Lago filling up where Mr. Trump is expected to speak. Nine Eastern will bring you live coverage as it happens here on News Nation. Mr. Trump is never one for understatement. He wrote on social media, hopefully today will turn out to be one of the most important days in the history of our country. Mark Lauder is here, former spokesman for the Trump-Pence 2020 campaign. Mark, good to see you. We appreciate it. Uh, if you listen to President Trump over the past couple of years since the election and uh, President Biden's inauguration, it has been a lot about his personal grievances. Are we to expect that today is a shift to the sort of aspirational uh, ideas of 2015 and 2016 that won him the White House? Yeah, I, I, I never want to get ahead of what the president will or will not say. But, you know, what I've been told is that he's going to make the case for the failures of the Biden administration by basically asking you, are you know, are you safer now than you were two years ago? Is your, you know, is the economy and your household finances better than they were two years ago? Are gas prices lower than they were two years ago? The answer is no, and there's a reason for that. And then he's going to talk about the prescriptions and things that need to be done to get back to the America First policies that worked when he was in the White House, and and that's a very strong argument. I think you saw that argument resonating a lot with a lot of people across the uh, across the spectrum here last. Last Tuesday, it may not have always changed the outcome of the race, but it was very powerful in a lot of key areas. C certainly it was. You could make the argument that it was the non-Trumpy candidates, uh, if that's a word, uh, who, who won uh, New Hampshire, Ohio, uh, certainly uh, Georgia, uh, for sure, you could say, um, or did better. I I'm thinking about sort of how things have changed since 2015. They've also stayed the same. You think about Trump 2024 skeptics. Uh, Rupert Murdoch and all of the Fox News, New York Post, and his and Wall Street Journal properties. Uh, conservative podcaster Ben Dominich, uh, Mark New uh, Fox News contributor Mark Thiessen, Britt Hume, former New York rep Peter King, uh, the former press secretary Carolee McEnany, Chris Christie, uh, never a fan, uh, well, recently never a fan, was at one point. Uh, Mike Cernovich, the conservative blogger, Mark Pompeo from the administration, Mike Pence, uh, the former vice president who talked today uh, saying that uh, we'll have better choices. Jason Miller, uh, longtime Trump advisor. The flip side of that, and to be fair, is you could have put together the same list in 2015 of people who weren't happy about Donald Trump running. Who is his allies this time around? Well, I still think it's a, a huge population uh, of the American people. I mean, let's remember this is this is a president who got 12 million more votes than he did the first time around in 2020 compared to 2016. So he's growing the party. He's bringing people into the party, and and they're very obviously many people are very rabid about supporting him and and voicing their support for him. And I think more and more moving forward, as you can make those policy contrasts, make it about you know his policies versus the results of the Biden administration, that's a powerful ally he didn't have in 2020. Joe Biden was a hypothetical president. He didn't have a record to run on. He, you know, he basically stood by a very popular president in Barack Obama. Well, now he's got a record to run on and he's going to have to defend it, whether it is Donald Trump or, or anyone else who you know, throws their hat in the ring and wins the nomination, they're going to be running on the Trump policies. The question is going to be, who do we trust? Who do the American people trust to carry that forward? Yeah, elections, elections are about the future. Hey, Mark, it's good to see you as always. Thank you. You too, Leland. Thanks for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to subscribe. Click the red button to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.